I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahabshai, Bahashim, Raka, Kodash, forgive me the spirit to do this testimony. This is a testimony that my wife told me. Okay. She works at a hospital during this whole COVID-19 pandemic. <laughs> and um, she told me this two days ago. I'm just not getting around to do it. And, uh, you know, she's had many dreams and many different things that I've testified about uh, on my channel. And uh, so basically at her job, she goes in in the morning around six o'clock and one of her coworkers start talking about how it's the last days. OK, so they're having a conversation about how it's the last days and a coworker tells her that she's trying to get right. She said, man, I need to get right. I don't want to judge nobody. We in the last days. This is what a coworker is saying to my wife. OK, now they're serving breakfast to the different patients. And one of the patients that my wife is going to go serve breakfast to, everybody is warning my wife and saying, look, this guy's crazy. He's mean. Be careful. He's aggressive. You know, they're telling my wife this. OK, so my wife goes in there with that in her mind. And when she goes in there, the guy that's there, he's there for a heroin overdose. OK, it's an Edomite. He's there for a heroin overdose. And he just woke up out of his sleep looking scared and startled. Now, when she went in there, he told her that he woke up from a horrible, horrible dream about the last days. So my wife asked him, what was her dream about? And he told her that everybody was panicking. OK, everybody was panicking. And he said everybody was burning. OK, and when he looked down at the ground. It looked like the ground was melting. And she told him, she said, was it like nuclear fire? And he was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, he got all amped up and animated. He's like, yeah, like like nuclear fire. And he said when he looked into the sky. That there was something he couldn't describe shooting beams at the people, man. <laughs> shooting beams at the people. OK, while they were melting, why everybody was running. And panicking, man. OK. And he said he do not want to go back to sleep. He was so scared and startled. He said he just want to stay up. He is not going back to sleep. That's how scared he was of what he saw. OK. Now, my wife don't know this man. Now, keep in mind the conversation she had before with the co-worker about the last days. OK. It's all spiritual, man. That this random guy is having a dream like that to the point where he does not want to go back to sleep at all. OK, horrible, horrible vision he saw and the scriptures talk about dreams in the last days, man. And the closer we get, the closer we get, the more dreams are going to take place. Vivid, vivid dreams that people are going to be crying out of their sleep. You know, it's going to feel real because it is real, you know, because it's prophecy, something that's going to take place. OK, now keep in mind, he's a drug head, man. OK, a homeless drug head. Now, the homeless while I work, I do a lot of homeless sometimes. Right. Man, they be having you want to call 911 <laughs> just to go to the hospital, man, to get food, TV, you know, to get more comfortable. OK. And my wife asked him, do you want something to go back to sleep? Because he said he couldn't sleep. He was like, hell no. <laughs> Now, you know, a drug ain't going to pass that up, man. OK, you got druggies that call 911 just to go to the hospital to get drugs, to get morphine shots and all kinds of stuff like that. They're not finna pass that up. But that's how scared he was that he didn't even want the pills. <laughs> he didn't even want the medicine. He was so scared, man, because he knew that medicine was going to knock him out. He said, hell no. Nah. OK, <laughs> it's like Freddy Cougar, man. You. <laughs> Nightmare on Elm Street. You like, hell no, I ain't going back to sleep. Freddie going to get me. <laughs> that dream was messed him up, man. You know, so that's heavy, man. OK. And by the way, when he said um, it just came to mind when he said that he saw laser beams getting shot down, he said the laser beams were shooting at him, too. And when you think about it, when he spoke about the ground looking like it was melting. OK, Babylon going to be a lake of fire, man. 
Think about it, man. It's going to be so much fire, man. Nuclear fire that it's going to look crazy, man. Okay, the ground is going to be melting, man. It's going to be full of hot, fervent heat. Okay. The scripture says the earth shall melt. Matter of fact, let me get that. That's the spirit. Second Peter chapter three. I'm going to start at verse 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night and the which the heaven shall pass away with a great noise and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Right. The elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burnt up. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved. What manner of persons ought you to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Looking for and hasten to the coming of the day of Yahweh Bashem Abishai, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. <laughs> he said the earth looked like it was melting, man. He said the earth was melting under his feet. Okay, my wife said, was it like nuclear fire? He was like, yes. You know, <laughs> oh man, you can't make this up. I'm going to go ahead and read 13 and end it. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for a new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. And we are definitely waiting for that. And my wife, by the way, I can't forget this point. My wife, she went back to see that God was still there to see if she can get, you know, more spiritual things that connect to the scriptures, man. Like he told her the first time. And when she went back to check on the guy, the guy had ran. He was gone already because supposedly he was uh, also diagnosed with COVID-19, supposedly. Right. And uh, so, yeah, they looked for the guy. The guy jumped ship and left, ran out of the hospital. So, <laughs> hey, that proves in the spirit, man, that he was only there just to give my wife that dream so she can give to me so I can give to you guys. That's exactly why he came to the hospital. <laughs> oh, man. So at the end of the day, man, that lets you know we at the end. It's close. It's very, very, very close. OK, examine yourself. Get more prepared for Jacob's trouble and that fervent heat that's coming, that melting heat, man. All right. And pray, man, fast. Do what you got to do, man, to make it. All right. We are at the end. With that, I want to give our praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakaq Wadash, forgive me the spirit, to do this testimony. Double honors to the elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to Yahweh, that is doing the truth and sincerity. Shalom.